Now, it is the busy season, certainly in terms of the transfer window uh, being open. Lots of stories, lots of rumours, but Brighton would be very active as a club. And last night you announced your sixth summer signing. Can you tell us about Brian Gruder and what he will bring to your side? I can see a smile already <laughs> when I mention his name. So I wouldn't say he's a typical German. I think um, he's amazing skills um, with the ball. He He's like a boy from the street, you say a little bit in, in German, so he likes to, to dribble, he likes to have the ball on, 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 his, on his feet. and He can do special things, like all our offensive players, they can make a difference in an equal game. And of course, we, we, we need to give like Brian time, he, he comes from Germany, he's, he's very young, it's a different culture here, the Premier League is, is the best league in the world, so we try to integrate him as fast as possible. We give him all the support and help he needs, like all the other players, and then we try to improve him and uh, make him ready for the Premier League. And uh, overnight, there was also now talk that Jorginho Rute has been a target of the club. Have you got anything to add on that, or is that still an area of the pitch you're looking to bring in new signings? So first of all, I'm very happy with the squad we already have. And of course, like it's also our job to search if, if there's any player who fits to our profile, to our style of play, and of course the, the character of the player is very important for us. And if there might be a fit, we will see what happens. But um, to, to negotiations or to players we, we want to maybe see in our squad, I will never say anything. <laughs> No, I totally understand that. Uh, final, final one from me on, on, on transfers. Are there any areas of the pitch you feel that maybe if you're looking at the squad, now you said you're happy with the squad, but are there any areas maybe you're a bit thinner than maybe others? I wouldn't say thinner. I would say, like before, that I'm really happy with the squad we have here. And we made some great signings. The players... Or the players who played here before, like of course we had like two two players lost, but mm. in the end that's the business from football. Um, we try to to build on on the foundation that was was created in in the last years, and we have great players. We have great balance between like leaders on the pitch. We have like team players and also like cre creative players. So the mix is, is very good, and we will see what what happens. Okay. He was a little bit coy about Ruta, wasn't he? But there was a smile there. Yeah. Am I reading into that? Am I reading into <laughs> too much? He knows what's happening. He, he can't talk about happening. a player yeah. that obviously played for course. another club. Um, but if you go on social media and look at Leeds fans having the meltdown right now, you, it tells you how important Ruta was mm. or is to them. Um, played in the first game of the season. Didn't play last night against Middlesbrough in the cup. It was a rotated side. But he's a player that's been very, very good in the championship. And he's a player that has produced and given you numbers. And you were surprised that... Big teams weren't after him, but I think Brighton's a perfect landing spot for a player like that. And I think that when Leeds signed him from Hoffenheim, you weren't too sure what he was going to be, whether he was going to be a winger, whether he was going to be a wing-back, but he's turned out to be a very effective forward that now needs to prove it in the Premier League, and I think Brighton is the perfect spot for him. I think he had um, a period in that early season when he first came to the Prem, because he's a tricky winger, he wants to yeah. take players on. I think he realised the physicality of the Prem is different. Fullbacks are throwing you into the boards. He's then gone to the Championship where every game is held to skelter, scored seven, 15 assists. And that was the problem. He, he missed that part of his game. He'd get past two players and scuff a crossing. Um, and similar to uh, Crescentio, Somerville, great in the Championship. You really have to see how they adapt to the Premier League. But he's one where I feel he's, his physicality has improved. Quigley's favourite word. Yeah. And for... Um, Sorry, go on. No, I think he'll, he'll be fine. Mm -hmm. I, I'm just going to say, on Brighton in general, it's going to be really interesting to see how they do because they've had this model of buying, you know, some young, unproven players for, for really small fees, preferably usually from South America with their model. Mm. Their managers have been young, aspiring, the next one's up, and that's definitely the case in, in, in this situation. But also there's some people talk about a shelf life of, like, can they keep sort of selling for big fees, then reinvesting again and still maintaining the style of play, still maintaining mm. where they are in the league? 
it's a big challenge for them to, to do that. So mm. I think it's going to be an interesting season for Brighton. What I find interesting is I think there's a strategy change. I don't think yeah. they've backed a manager like this. Yeah, typically, 40 million is a big outlet. And yeah. they're all supporting Gruder. They're now sort of splashing the cash, actually. And mm. Brighton, Brighton tend to go for players you've never heard of. You think of Buenonote, Julio Enciso, Pervis Estupinian. Obviously, people had heard of him, but he wasn't mm. as well known. Carcedo. And now, yeah, Carcedo. And now they've ended up going for Rutter and Gruder and players that we've all gone, oh, I have seen him. Mm. Um, it's quite interesting to me that it feels like they're now back in a manager's vision, which normally is risky because you might lose your manager along the way, but also quite telling that they obviously have really high stocks in him and uh, they'll probably back him to the hill. But yeah. it's an interesting strategy change.